Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. This is James Seth Lynch. I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. Town's gone to hell. Who are you? Johnson Nash is my name. Husband to Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. A courier with the Mojave Express. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. I lost the package I was supposed to deliver. I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? What can you tell me about the job? Show delivery order. Oh, so you're talking about one of them packages. That job had strange written all over it. But we couldn't turn down the caps. What was strange about it? That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Each was carrying something a little different. A pair of dice, chess piece, that kind of stuff. Last word I have in the office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. First deadbeat we hired to do the job canceled. Hope a storm from the divide skins him alive. Well, that's where you came in. You canceled? Yeah, I got this look when he saw you next down on the courier list. His expression turned right around. Asked me if your name was for real. I said, sure as lack of rain, you were still kicking. Then he turned down the job, just like that. I asked if he was sure it was good money. No, let Courier 6 carry the package. That's what he said. Like the Mojave'd sort you out or something. Then he just up and walked out. Do you know who he was, where he went? No idea. Sounds like you two had a history for him to act like that. And turn down the money, too. Hope he didn't see any trouble in that package of yours. Maybe he thought your name was bad luck. Not for me to say. Some men stole... Oh wait, no, no, let's do... Cowboy robot. You mean the one over there? Yeah, there's a random Protectron robot with a cowboy hat over there. Nope. Different fella. Bigger. Had himself a face on a screen. And he talked more like you or me. So, Victor... From Good Springs, the robot who saved us... Also, hot, also was the one who contracted us to deliver the package, and the other five couriers. Some men stole my package. Man, I checkered suits and thugs. Did they pass this way? Well, now that you mention it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. Great cogs. Hmm. One of those men shot me. I need to know what are the best way to get them. Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on them, and he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. He may have heard where they were going. I'd like to ask you about something else. I guess I don't have anywhere better to be. What can I do to help Prim? Right now, Beagle is the closest Prim's got to any organized law. But he's still stuck up in Bison Steve. First thing I'd say is get his sorry butt out of there. What do you have for sale? Sure, have a look. <laughs> well, that was an inappropriate reaction. All point. Points. Okay, the armor. Huh. 556 surplus. Ooh, casings. Yeah, casings are always free. It's weird. I think they'd be extremely valuable. Uh, I guess it's just a design oversight. Throwing these frag lines. Well, I could use them. They're basically useless. So I won't. Another satisfied customer. Time for me to go. Later. 
Alright, let's repair some crap. What the hell is wrong with this casino? Where are the hookers? <laughs> yeah, that robot. Howdy, partner. Welcome to the Vicky and Vans Casino and Museum. Who are you? Prem Slim at your service. Authentic cowpoke and official spoke spot of the Vicky and Vans Casino and Museum. Yeehaw! Who are Vicky and Vance? Where have you been, partner? Hiding under a rock? Vicky and Vance were this nation's fourth or maybe fifth most infamous celebrity outlaw couple ever. That's who they was. And Prem Slim here can tell you the whole story, if you can spare a minute to hear the tale. Tell me the whole story of Vicky and Vance. Yahoo! I ain't had a chance to tell their tale in a mess of years. First things first. Any boss you've heard about Vicky and Vance being copycats ain't nothing but ill-tempered slander. Fact is, they begun their crime spree two days before Bonnie and Clyde robbed their first bank. So who was copying who? Now true, Vicky and Vance didn't exactly cut a wide swath of murder and bank robbery across the central U.S. like Bonnie and Clyde did. It was more like a narrow swath of shoplifting, check cashing fraud, and gas pump drive-offs. But crime is crime. They drove reckless too. Having lived by the gun, well, Vance owned one anyway. It was only fitting that the duo of desperados would die by the gun. Perhaps it was fate itself that accidentally drove them into a crossfire between police and a gang of bank robbers in Plano, Texas. Or maybe they just didn't notice until it was too late. It's been said that Vicky would have tried to cash a bad check in that bank had she lived. We'll never know for sure. All we know is that the crossfire tore the car and both occupants to pieces, and the police issued an official apology. You can put your eyes on the genuine death car just over yonder. And there's Vance's machine gun in the case next to it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I just want to confirm. Yeah, this is from uh, New Vegas. This is from Fallout New Vegas. This is not a mod, okay? Happy trails, partner. <laughs> There's no gun! There's no freaking gun! Where's the gun? Howdy, partner. Welcome to the Vic. Shut up. Did you know that Vance's gun is missing? Just mose you on over to the display case and you'll see it plain as day. Quite a piece of that gun. Mint condition. Never fire. Never fire? <laughs> the display case is empty. The gun's missing. Have you gone loco, partner? I can see the gun with my own three photo sensors from where I'm standing right now. Yo. Okay. Happy trails, partner. That was odd. More science skill. Perhaps I should have invested in that instead of throwing everything into repair. But we'll see while that would be useful later. Not gonna hack that. Not gonna. Alright. I'm not gonna pick this lock. No, instead I'm just going to wander around aimlessly. Steal stuff. Alright, so I guess everyone's. Ah. So, yeah. Uh, as for in-character reasons why I'm helping them, well, what better way to uh, find a... To, I'm helping them. They'll be... They'll owe me, okay? That's why. Plus, really, I don't like power gangers. Also, ED increases our perception. By a lot. This is the worst theme park I've ever been to. What the hell? <laughs> I am really like Igniner.
That was some interesting combat maneuvering. Sounds like there's a lot of them up ahead, Matt. I might try using these. Oh. Powder charges. Come here. Come here. I want to show this off by myself. Who do you think it's all? Yes. Yes, Juju, stay. Stay. Hey! That was interesting. Anticlimactic. Oh! Juju, no! I've just thrown everything around. Like, yeah. That's the problem with explosives. Ooh! Recipe. Memorized a new recipe. Yes, that's from Erect Bear Arms. Usually you get those by taking a certain but standard perk. So you get all the uh, extra ammo recipes added by that DLC. But with here, no, you have to slowly get, get them by uh, exploring and killing things. Alright, let's get Niner. Get right over here. Where'd you go? Niner? Niner. Oh. Pressing the wrong button to exit vents. Well, it's a button. Yeah, I should really let him uh, say what he needs to say for you guys, because I actually don't even know what he's going to say, and it's probably funny. Okay. Hey, they're cooking a brownie. Cool. How the hell did they get it in here? Got fire, get the steak. I'm gonna save the brush for now. Down the root. They have other uses. What's going on in here? Kitchen. And, uh, yeah. This guy's gonna take a while, so I'm just gonna loot and, uh, then save my goodbye. This has been James Seth Lynch, Niner, and Juju. Bye, everyone.